Let's add a map to Adobe XD. You'll need two things. One is a plugin called Fancy Maps and the other thing is an account with Mapbox. I've created a new project. Let's start by adding the plugin Fancy Maps. So I need to go to Plugins, Browse Plugins. So I click that and it will take me to my Creative Cloud desktop. Now we can go and search for Fancy Maps. So if I type in Search All Plugins and type in Fancy Maps or just type in Maps to see what's available. Here we go. It's got four out of five stars. That suggests it's a pretty good one. So we're just going to install that. Now you won't be able to do this at the university because you need administrator access to be able to install plugins, but you can do it with your home computer. And now Fancy Maps is installed. So let's go back to Adobe XD. We need to access that plugin. So we're currently in the libraries. You can have layers below that. We're looking at plugins. It's down the bottom. So we see Fancy Maps is here. I'm going to click on that and it requires an access token. What is an access token? Well, most map APIs or application programming interfaces require a unique sign-in number, a unique, a unique ID, so that they know you're not abusing the service. And in fact, Mapbox has a free tier, but I think it's fewer than 100,000 queries per month or something like that. Um, so you need to keep this key secret. You don't want everyone on the web using it. Um, and we'll go and get one of those right now. To get your token, go to mapbox.com and sign up with a new account. I'm just going to log in because I've logged in before. I have an account here. And once you get into your account, you can create an access token. So click on create a token give it a name. So I might call this my Adobe XD token. And then you decide what the, uh, the scopes are. I'm just going to use all of them. I don't need any secret ones. You can restrict it to a particular URL. That's another secure way to ensure no one else is going to use your token. Uh, but I'm not going to enter that. I'm just going to create the token now. Okay, and now we've got my Adobe XD token here. So I can copy that and go back to Adobe XD and I enter that token here. And now we have all of our options. So usually you don't want just a surprise destination. You probably don't want any of the popular ones. So what we ideally want to do, if you have down, look at the, down here, we've got let's get specific and that's a specific address. I find it a little bit strange that this is down the bottom. You would think that people want specific addresses, but you know, maybe that's just me. So to use it, what you need to do is create the shape where you want your map to sit in. So I've just created a rectangle there. Let's go and find an address. So I'm going to say 1 John Street Hawthorne because that's Swinburne's address and click on that blue button. And here we go. We've got 1 John Street Hawthorne. So we decide how much we want to be zoomed into it. We might want to get pretty specific, Ooh, a little bit too specific. There we go. So that might be a bit better there. And you can decide what your map theme is going to be. You can create your own, but you can use an existing one. So this is the, the first one that comes up, but you have lots of different um, styles you can use. You can even use a, a photographic map, but I'm just going to use this default one. Now, another thing that you can do with the elements up here, you can decide if you want to drop a marker or current location or navigation. So if I select marker there, you know, I might decide I want it to be red or choose one of those things back to the maps here. Oh, and I'm going to have to type that in again. That's a little bit of a pain, isn't it? One John Street Hawthorne. Let's try this again. 
Okay, and so we'll turn the marker on and I can decide how many markers I want to have. I'll keep it as a nice little red marker, but you can even choose your own color. You can enter your own color to fit with your overall um, theme. And now what I would do is I need to select where I want the map to go and I simply click on apply map. And there we go. We now have our map to see in the window here. And if I preview it, we can see that working absolutely fine. And then if I share it, adding a map, design review, anyone with a link, let's create a link here. And let's go have a look. And there we go, we have our map in here. Now you don't have the ability to zoom in or anything like that. So you know, do make sure you're applying it to the right address and where you want it. Um, but there we go, we've got a simple map sitting in our web page.